Hello and welcome to another economics video. Today I'm going to focus on our banking system, uh, specifically our commercial banks and some data that the Federal Reserve releases about them. This is quarterly data and I wanted to start with this uh, more broad chart. This is year over year changes in total bank lending and things over the last couple of years have been dramatically healthier for our commercial banks as we're seeing between six and eight percent lending growth year over year as you could tell things really uh, fell apart in late 2009 as a result of the recession and uh, struggled really to get back on pace now I want to show you another chart and this is the first quarter of 2016 bank lending this data at least is split into four different types treasuries so that's uh, you know US treasuries debt commercial loans real estate loans and consumer loans and as you could see right now uh, these the commercial banks are holding about 2.2 trillion in treasuries just under 2 trillion in commercial loans just under 4 trillion in real estate loans and close to 1.3 trillion in consumer loans the total of these four if you're curious is 9.43 trillion dollars uh, and and this is a static picture of the first quarter but as I continue to drill down I want to show you just some other trends and things that I'm seeing this is a composition chart so this is the percentage of each respective loan as a total of the loans underwritten and as you could see at the height of the real estate bubble and financial crisis real estate loans comprised about 50% of all commercial lending and that was certainly up from 35% uh, which was about 20 years ago that continues to decline which basically tells me that the other areas of lending are growing at a faster rate than uh, uh, real estate we we can also see that there was a jump here and I think this was a reclassification issue in regards to consumer loans in 2010 commercial loans they took probably the biggest hit uh, during the recession and have since started coming back and then treasuries uh, treasuries have been an increasingly big commodity of uh, the commercial banks they currently 23 percent of their holdings are in Treasury bonds the last chart I want to show you is the changes these are year-over-year -year changes in each specific type of loan from a, uh, a from the commercial banks and as you see here real estate really struggled to slowly recover it, it, until uh, 2014 it straddled uh, zero growth or negative growth for a number of years so real estate lending is finally picking up with the commercial banks uh, the other the other uh, aspect of lending is the consumer lending and then the other two the the top uh, the top growing types of loans within commercial banking are Treasury loans which are right now increasing at uh, almost 10 percent and commercial loans which are increasing at 10 percent the reason I look at this data is to just kind of see where commercial banks as a whole have their confidence you can obviously tell that real estate really hurt with them it started right right as the credit crisis began after the crisis it was very slow to recover and now finally really at about a seven year high in terms of growth uh, you also see that commercial lending really took a big hit from the financial crisis uh, again this consumer change I believe was more related to uh, a reclassification than actual lending growth and then you could see treasuries really picked up uh, in the height of the crisis and I think each time you see a fearful event here being the um, the European credit crisis here being the credit crisis you really see a pickup in uh, Treasury borrowing the other thing that's going on here too is Basel 3 which is a, a different a new regulation since the credit crisis on how banks can compose their balance sheets 
So I hope you found this information uh, helpful, and we'll see you next time.